Yo. Are we live? We're live we're right live. now, all over the world. Guys, nice. we're gonna give you a tour of the Winfield Walnut Valley Bluegrass Festival. Right now they got the fiddle contest going on. We'll walk through there silently because they're in competition right now. We don't now. want to interrupt them. But then we'll walk deal. around the rest of the park and give you kind of a guided tour. In case you've never been here, you've heard of the Walnut Valley Festival. Now you get to see this it. This is the real deal. Follow me. Watch your step here, there's a bar. Whoop. This is uh, stage number four where they do all the competitions. They have the guitar flat picking, uh, national championship, finger style, fiddle, mandolin, a whole bunch of auto harp, uh, lap dulcimer. So pretty cool stage, always busy with these contests. And this is also where we're doing the live stream videos from. All right, you ready for the most important part of the festival? Guys, it's like the food alley right here. You guys here. can't smell it, but there's lots of food smells coming out right I now. I smell some sauerkraut, and I think I'm going to try to find that later. Some gyros, some popcorn, homemade ice cream over here. They're doing some homemade ice cream that I will be getting. Somewhere Check around here said they have the best Reuben in the world. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. That's ice cream being made right now. Back behind us, if you want to pan back there, you see people still lining up coming into the show. This is day three of the festival, and people are just lining up at the gates. They got four entrances going on. People coming in all the time, just packing in this place. This is the 50th anniversary or birthday of Walnut Valley Festival. The grandstands right there is where the main stage is. And like we said, Jason's favorite part, the food court. We got the ultimate Reuben, according to them. There's another stage right over here on the back side of that. That's stage three, I believe. You see the little sta uh, stands there for people to sit and watch. You got, there's Nelson. They're still fiddling. Sure. That's Trent's dad for all you folks at home that haven't met Nelson before. These guys live in a lemon. That's pretty cool. It's yeah, kind of like the banana stand, which burned yeah. down. There's always, There's always money, money in the, the banana, banana stand. stand. Remember that, guys. Always money in the banana stand. All right, so we're going to get to the vendor area. There's a huge craft and vendor area, which is where the acoustic shop's set up. Yeah. Obviously. We got so which side do we want to start in first? Of us. He's walking around with his fiddle. Playing with Tim O'Brien band. Yeah. Pretty cool. He's all right. You starting over here? We got the beer tent over here. We got a beer garden. Very nice too. That's pretty neat. The grandstands this is where the magic happens. You get to the top and watch all your favorite acts. Let's go this way real quick. I like to go all the way to the top. Sorry, man. You're on a mission. I just want to say hello. You going up? Let's go upstairs real quick. So this is stage one of the main stage. It looks like we just got missed the, the band finishing. We're getting set up for the next up band. The second one. Hopefully, it's a bit windy right now, so. This is uh, Picker's Paradise, as you can see. So that's cool. You get a little view of what the uh, parking situation is here. Yeah, this is all the parking. Way back there, you see a lot more camping all the way going on, all the way back in those That's trees. That's the pecan grove, the famous pecan grove over there. If you know, you know. Yeah. All right, let's go down. If you don't. We're going to go through here first? Yeah, sure. Let's walk through.
Just saw Janet Deering walking by, but this would be the Deering booth right here. Lots of things to look at and buy. And as you can see right here, very big and prominent, the acoustic shop booth. We're live right now. Still live? We're live. And I'm calling you. Look at John. I know. That's why I didn't answer. <laughs> why calling? Hey, you bet, this is John. You now you know what it's like. There you go. Hey guys, having fun? Lots of cool stuff. Oh, it's all there. Is he taking the tour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, this is the booth you can see inside here. Um, we got guitars and accessories. We brought the whole store with us. I Both had these walls. important business news yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. We're out of ones, quarters, and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> I can walk you around though. While Jeremy's doing all the important stuff, I will take over this, show you what's kind of here. We brought a lot of cool stuff and some of the stuff's gonna be at IBMA, some specials as well. Um, I'll tell you one of the specials that we not we weren't smart enough to bring uh, a uh, sign for. Uh, Peterson Strobo Clip Tuners, free cases with those. That's a, I think $19 case. I don't, they're underneath here. I'll grab one after a while. But you get a free case with every tuner. Um, we've been selling a ton of the standard clip tuners, uh, strings. We got them all here. If you're still needing uh, strings and picks and all that kind of good stuff, we're here. Here's our thing that has been actually everybody's asking about. Tone guards, mandolins. I even have the dreadnought ones, which are really cool. Uh, these work. You jam guys, if you're watching this right now, you put this on the back of your guitar, you will be amazed how much louder it is, especially in a jam session. I carried one of these when we were on the road uh, quite a bit. It makes a little bit heavier guitar, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. Jeremy didn't like it when I was using yeah, it. Yeah, you're already loud enough without that. <laughs> so this is a quick overview of the yep. booth. We're going to actually give them the entire okay. park tour. So Am I going with you? If or you want to, Jay right. handed it off. I think, he, I think he's done walking. Here's the famous Janet Deering. Janet's Hi, there. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. Got some dulcimers. Yeah. Yeah. Auto I'm gonna get in front of the camera. <laughs> Hat man Jack. Cowboy, cowboy hats and all kinds of other oh. hats, various hats. There, Hat man Jack, very, very famous here at Winfield, has been building hats for a lot of celebrities for a long time out of the uh, Kansas area build some super cool ones and also already has some already pre-made but actually will shape them specifically for you which is really awesome so here's the official winfield information booth right here jerry i don't know if you know that yeah but this is where all of it is There's the prizes for the fiddle contest that's right going on right now yep sure enough famous mossman guitar yep your ohm banjos A little whittling going on. Whittling, <laughs> absolutely. More music stores, lots of hammer dulcimers, dulcimer, regular dulcimers, mountain dulcimers, all kinds of stuff here. Woodcrafts, uh, pottery, all the fun stuff. How you doing? A little stained glass. I just realized I'm chewing gum on camera. Is that okay? So let's bring us to the other end of the uh, main stage. Another entrance that takes you into the uh, campground, which we'll go there tonight. Do some more live streaming from that. This is where you get your wood-fired pizza. Um, so, which Jason's second actually, favorite place, I the other use. food court. Did you tell them that I'm making ribs tonight? I did not. That was I, uh, I smoked ribs. Gonna smoke some ribs. In fact, right I got to go over there very shortly, unwrap those ribs, and get them finished. This but, is stage number two right here. You see the crowd goes all the way up onto the hill. Yep. And you showed on the main grandstand yep, stage. Yep, already been right? there. Absolutely. Awesome. What a festival! This place is really, really cool. Like I said, probably the most eclectic music festival that I've ever been to. So much, and a lot of respect for all the different genres of music. That's what I love about this. Nobody's sitting there going, uh, "It's you know, it's only this kind of music." I only listen to this. I only listen to that. There's audience moving all over. It's acoustic music all over the place, and I love that. Let's check out the stage two real quick. They sound Irish. 
Whoever's on right now sounds very so Irish. Also, he doesn't speak because he's got, you know, he doesn't have an Irish accent. So he devalues the band is 98 percent and we can't really have that. That mic is just for show, sure, but we've been doing some voice coaching and voice training. It's in the contract. The mic is off. It's off. You know what, Joe? I've done it before, not very often, but all these things towards You can protest all you want, baby. It's not going to get you anywhere. Anyway. Come on in. This one is called Bonnie Light Horseman. This is off our first album. You know the words BCL? Yeah, Irish. As soon as they start singing, we're going to walk away now. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> For copyright reasons, we're not allowed to uh, let you listen to any more than That's that. That's really not true. He's just saying stuff like that because he's just because he thinks he's witty. That's what it is. <laughs> your tie dye. You, got, you can't have a festival without some tie dye. An alien tie dye. So much guitar tie dye. Turtle tie dye. Have you had any Those tie dye to dye? Uh, no. Now you think you're no? funny. I, that was a bad joke. What? Not good. No. I'm There's sorry. your spoons. Like, yeah, they have fancy spoons for your spoon playing. That's not true. They're making spoon rings. That's right. You get to pick out different tones of spoons so that when you clack them together. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're going for, Jer. Let's go into here. So another cool thing about this festival, besides a lot of music, is they're really trying to uh, showcase a lot of artists. So they have some, this is actually the uh, Mercantile for all the bands. So they have CDs for sale throughout the entire event for all the bands that are here. So you can come here and pick out CDs. But over here, we'll call, take you to the actual uh, trade show for all the artisans in the area. charging stations. That's pretty smart. A plugging place for your phone. Also called a charging station. Well, if that's what you want to call it. All right. I like to do I like to do mine in a more literal uh, style, a plug-in place. <laughs> I love these fire uh, pits. I want one of these. It wouldn't go well inside my camper, but that's where I want it. I'm going to put you in one of those and roll it down the hill. <laughs> these are incredible. I'm gonna bail on you in the middle of this. I know uh, you guys don't care, but I'm gonna shut this mic off and uh, I'm gonna go fix those ribs. So I will be back in just a little bit, all right? All right. You meet us here or wherever we're at. Sounds good. Or we'll just finish the live stream without you. They were just handing this off. I guess they don't wanna walk with me, guys. So it's pretty, just putting together a craft festival like this size is quite the undertaking, but mixing that along with the giant music festival going on is pretty impressive. You can get your Winfield cutting boards right here. Some more tie-dye, of course. You never have enough tie-dye. Lights in a bottle. This is going to work out good for me because every time I go on a trip, I have to bring back gifts for my kids. So I see some wooden toys over here. And by kids, I also mean my wife. So I have to find some like coffee mug or something. That brings us about to the end of the crafting area, but there's still quite a few booths that we just kind of breezed by. Um, ooh, these look good to me. Might have to give me some of those. So, we're gonna do some more of this tonight. We're gonna get a live feed of us going down through the campground because that's where a lot of the magic happens. There's portions of this campground where people never leave the camp spots to watch the shows, even though there's some great acts on stage. They just stay in their campers and jam all weekend, and especially at night, it gets pretty crazy. So we'll do some walking down there through the, uh, through the campground later tonight. Make sure you watch it so you can get more of a feel for the Winfield Walnut Valley Festival. And uh, hopefully you got a little bit of a, a teaser of it right now. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I gotta go eat some ribs.